Welcome back. I'm your host, Michael Dell Brown, and today is March the 29th, 2022. And you're probably wondering, why in the world is Michael wearing this sweater? It's spring. It must be warm outside. But I'm not in Alaska. No, I'm not in Siberia. I am in the snow capital of the United States of America, Syracuse, New York. And we have snow on the ground even though it is officially spring. It's really not looking like spring with the snow on the ground, although the sun is out and it is beginning to melt. Well, today we're going to talk about the song 24-7. We are always together. And we have many, many artists and many, many songs. This is one of my favorite songs. I think you're going to just absolutely love this song. 24-7, and I'm going to read the lyrics, which actually were first a poem. And this is a poem that I've had out for some years, but now we've decided to turn this poem into a song. 24-7, we are always together, holding even the second hand of the clock still, so that we will never be apart, separated in the space we occupy in each other's arms. And that space, which has been reserved for us before we ever met, never knew time as a relationship without us, giving definition to words that take up time and even more space. And space is best when it disappears between us, the way air hides from sight and we become the distance every couple measures for the standard of what they treasure and the time they spend together. As the second hand overlaps the hour, and for a moment, the difference between them is lost in their similarity. And we know that what we have will last after time is no more and space unoccupied leaves emptiness alone. That beautiful poem, an even more amazing song. Let's talk about the song in a little bit more detail. The opening line says, we are always together, holding even the second hand of the clock. We are always together, holding even the second hand of the clock. Impossible to hold the second hand of a clock. Well, it almost is today because most clocks are digital. But years ago, of course, you'd see the physical clock with the first hand and the second hand. And in this song, in this poem, you have these two people in love, this man and this woman, together holding the second hand of the clock. You would ask yourself, well, why are they holding the hand of the clock? What for? They're doing it so that time stands still, so that they can be together forever. What happens with the passage of time? Things change. Even people's feelings for each other might change and, and often does. So this couple, who they love each other, they together hold the hands of the clock to stop, to freeze forever in a moment, a moment that lasts forever. Still so that we will never be apart. Not only do they talk about time, but they also talk about space. And they talk about filling the space that they share together. They want the emptiness of space to be filled with their presence. Space is best when it disappears between us. Again, I've mentioned it as a poem, but there's a few other lines in here I'd like to quickly cover. One of my favorite lines, it says here, the way air hides away from sight and we become the distance every couple measure for the standard of what they treasure in time. The way air hides away from sight and we become the distance every couple measures for the standard of what they treasure in the time. Stop and think for a minute, how in the world can
in air hide away from sight? Well, it does it seamlessly. We can't see the air. We see the effects of the air, like today outside we've got snow on the ground, and I can see the wind blowing the trees. Air is hiding away from sight, but we do see the effects of the wind. One last line of the poem I'd like to share is when uh, it reads, And for a moment, the difference between them is lost in their similarity. And for a moment, the difference between them is lost in their similarity. So we have two things compared or contrasted. We have their differences and their similarity. So this man who's speaking to his to the woman that he loves talks about the fact that they're different. They're not the same. One is a man, one is a female. But even though they're different, they have similarities and they are more similar than dissimilar because these two become one and their differences complement each other. They're complemented by the fact that they're different. Perhaps the, the man is of one nationality and the female is of another nationality. Uh, or perhaps there's a language difference or some other difference. And the point of the, the point of the poem, the point of the song is even though we are different, we are very much the same. We're very similar. We're more similar than dissimilar. This song is filled with figurative speech, with beautiful language that creates images and pictures. And when this particular artist, whose name is uh, Zachman, his name is literally Zach Williams, and because there's a famous singer, a country singer by the name Zach Williams, this Zach Williams changed his name to Zachman, and uh, he lives and works out of Denmark. He's classically trained with several different instruments. He plays the harmonica, he plays the guitar, plays many different instruments, and he's done, I think, a superb job with the arrangement of this song 24-7. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to you going to our website, www.reallygreatmusic.com dot com and downloading this particular song called 24 7. Now I've shared this song with my family members and some friends to get some diagnostic feedback. What do they think about the song? What, what artist does it even bring to mind when they hear the song? So my brother says to me, yes he hears Stevie Wonder that Stevie Wonder vibe throughout the song. And when you hear the music, right away you're going to think of Stevie Wonder. If you're a Stevie Wonder fan, you're going to absolutely adore this song. And you'll think of Stevie Wonder beginning with the intro to the song because it has a harmonica. It opens up with this beautiful harmonica solo. It's brief, but it's enough to bring to mind Stevie Wonder. And if you didn't know that it wasn't Stevie Wonder playing, you would most certainly think that that is little Stevie Wonder, who of course is a little anymore. He also hears a boys to men vibe. So if you're a boys to men fan, there's a chorus in here that brings that type of sound together. So if you like Stevie, if you like boys to men, if you love the Motown sound, that's what this is capturing, that beautiful old school feel of Motown with superstar artists like Boys to Men and the amazing, wonderful Stevie Wonder. This is a beautiful song. I hope you can sing this to your wife, young men out there. I hope wives, you can sing this song to your husband. Maybe you can hold hands and sing this song together. It's really something special. Now, I'm looking forward to seeing you next week where we're going to look at another special, beautiful song that's going to speak to your heart. That song is called Slowly. This song is really an amazing song. It's going to catch your attention. It's riveting. So I'm going to meet you right back here in our next session where we're going to get together and we're going to talk about this song called Slowly. That is also a poem, by the way, a poem that I wrote uh, some years ago that we also turned into a song. And that song is sung by another artist named Sam Clement. We have a lot of songs by Sam Clement, who's very versatile. You're going to love that song. This is Mike Brown, Michael Del Brown, your host, saying we'll see you next time.